Hello and welcome back to World of Tanks with Reaper. Today I have an absolute cracker for you. Newmaster and I, we are playing in our uh, tier 10 Russian heavy tanks. I'm playing in the Object 260 that has been the final um, prize of the first campaign and Newmaster is playing in the Object 277, the relatively new Heavium that a little bit outshines the 260 but ah never mind let's go and uh, rush the hill we both start here with a little bit of a bolshoi ballet uh thing and i think we deserve some extra credit for that right <laughs> that looked very very nice indeed and now we are pushing up the hill in these uh, relatively mobile but not very well armored heavy tanks trying to get into a position I'm firing clutch at the WT of Panzer IV, having a very nice look, uh, high roll here. And Newmaster is taking a little bit of the lower ground. I tried to find a tracking shot, but maybe I should have aimed a bit longer. And now I'm doing a little bit of a misplay here, because I, I, I'm probably doing two misplays. The, this being the first one, I'm getting out, getting myself tracked, and oof, oof, that hurts. And, well, that wasn't a very nice trade, but, I mean, it was important to get uh, shots out. And, you know, here I was a little bit tunnel visioned, I guess, against the bad chat. Sorry for that, Ram, uh, bro. Again, I don't find the tracking shot quite, but yeah, seeing Newmaster having a lot of pressure uh, at this moment, and then I get tracked again, and all the tanks come out and push, uh, put a lot of pressure at me. I'm shutting down the Progetto, but that's not enough. I'm losing so much hit points. Shutting down the T49 too, but at this moment I'm like, hey, Newmaster, we are heavily outnumbered here. Please, break contact to the E5 and run, my friend. Um, I don't think I will make it uh, much longer, so you should break contact, leave the hill, and uh, fight the good fight at another position. The new master being new master was like, nah, come on. Uh, I think we've got this, so <laughs> there is like... Eight heavy, uh, eight enemy tanks here, something like that. And you must was like, ah, come on, let, let's switch positions. I have a little bit more health. You pu you push around uh, the western side of the castle. I take uh, some shots over here. We got this. And so, well, what can I say? I yolo in. I oh, that was lucky to be honest. Didn't expect this guy to be uh, able to put his gun down. And the same with the. The same with the Yak Panther. I again, I didn't think he uh, he would be able to find that shot, but well, then we have to think a little bit more for the next one. Sneaky shot right under the vehicle, and I didn't think he liked that. So he, I see him pulling back with the gun still pointing at me. So I want to go a little bit on a, a bigger uh, way, a bigger way down there, and same uh, second he turns around so i would have had an easy shot but yeah woulda coulda shoulda i find a shot into the 53 tps capola and then the inevitable happens uh the samua finally finds his guts uh, to a uh, yolo new master and he's going down he's going down swinging i can tell you that but unfortunately he's down so now we are in a very very bad position t34 is going down very soon and we are basically alone with a indian panzer against two of uh, two top tier heavy tanks the 60 tp and the t125 and we are reduced to uh, to a one shot already so that's not very nice we find a shot into the lower plate of the 60 tp and this is where we, run, uh, where we run out of AP ammunition. That, should, should, <laughs> that shot should have penetrated, but yeah. Very much unlucky here, but... Uh, okay. Now I'm trying to hide here. Trying to bait shots. 
Um, not sure what to do actually, but I'm hoping that one of these tanks uh, makes a mistake. And the T110 E5 does. We find a shot into his capola, shut him down, and that, and then the 60 TP does another big old mistake. He fires at the Indian Panzer. We reduce him to a one shot, and now it's. Let's see who's faster. Who's faster? Ah. <laughs> oh, I can tell you at this moment my heart stopped when I missed, but. Luckily, he bounced on our uh, frontal armor, and we managed to shut him down too. <laughs> um, after the battle, I actually wrote this guy and told him, "GG, man, you should have won this. That was a very uh, unlucky bounce." Because, I mean, can can we see that? No, we can, uh, we can't right now for some reason. Um, he he actually um, hit my lower plate, and uh, there was that. Now I'm thinking of YOLOing the Carnarvon, but I don't know his health, so I'm, uh, I want to wait until the T100 LT and the Rand Metal are able to kill the Emil, and then I want to try my luck and get my 8 kill. I don't want to risk the game um, by uh, by actually turning this into two, uh, 2 versus 2. I want to uh, Rand Metal and T100 to double team the Emil and then actually try if I can get this kill. Okay now, rush in, come on. And... <laughs> but we are lucky again, the Carnarvon again hits our lower plate but it's not good enough and we shut him down, 8 kill. That was something. Let's see the end plates of this cracker of a game. <laughs> Of course, this match scored as the mastery badge on the Object 260. We have a Radley Walters medal for the 8 kills, a Spartan since we survived that uh, last shot of the 60 TP, a Steel Wall medal for, uh, let's check, for 2150 um, damage that we bounced, a high caliber for close to 6,000 6, damage and of course a top gun that's always included if you manage to score a Radley Walters medal. <laughs> Shout out also to Newmaster. Together we nearly did 10k damage <laughs> up on the hill and again also a shout out to the 60 TP uh, from the enemy T air gun from the GRWR clan. Man, you you were so unlucky bouncing that shot right into my lower plate. So you were a good sport uh, about it, but that, that was really unlucky. Shout out to you, good game man. And of course, shout out to the new master. Since we ran out of uh, standard ammunition, we just made but <laughs> we just barely made a profit in this game, paying 54,000 uh, for ammunition. So we ran out of APCR like after, I think, six kills or uh, five kills. So I had to shot, uh, shoot a quite a bit of the heat ammunition. And since it was a five time weekend we managed to score 10,000 um, experience points that our crew will of course love. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this cracker of a game. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and maybe give us an extra uh, follow for that wonderful bo <laughs> Bolshoi ballet uh, in the beginning. And I hope to see you soon either on YouTube again or on Twitch. Bye-bye.